Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you how you can set up register helper custom fields onto your membership site quickly and easily. To get started, I have my Must Love Dogs demo site that's installed and configured as I need it to be. And currently I'm on the membership checkout page and this is what it looks like for now. Uh, the second thing that I have, and this is the back end of my site, is I have Paid Memberships Pro installed and activated on our site, as well as the PM Pro Register Helper add-on. So once those two add-ons are installed and activated, you're going to need one more plugin in order to actually set up this, these custom fields. And for that, we recommend using the code snippets add-on. You can find this plugin if you go to plugins, add new, and then just do a quick search for code snippets. And you should see a plugin like this pop up and you can just go ahead and install it and activate it. Once that's installed and activated, you'll see a little snippets option appear in your WP dashboard, and you can just click on that, and you can go add new. Great, so over here, um, before we dive into code, let's just go ahead and name this. So I'm gonna call this register helper custom fields. And if you want, you can add a description and tags, but these are not important. This is sort of for internal use. And just make sure that the option run snippet everywhere is selected. Now, let's get started by actually adding custom fields to our checkout page. And to do this, you are essentially the quickest way to actually add custom fields to your membership site you're going to want to actually copy a bit of code from an example, add it to your site, and then just change the variables that need to be changed. So over here, I have a example of some three fields for uh, Paid Memberships Pro Register Helper custom fields. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code, and I'm just going to make sure I end over there. So let's go and copy that. And let's go and paste it to our code snippet plugin. Now, just take note, and let me just show you real quick. I didn't copy the PHP tag. Um, as you can see over here, this PHP tag already exists. And if you just copy that and add it, and if there are a if there is a duplication found, then then that could cause an error. So that's why I didn't copy that tag. It's worth noting that if there is an error that occurs in the code snippets plugin, it will warn you that there is an error and it will prompt you to go back and either fix the error or just, you know, go back to the later saved working version of the code and it will allow you to continue from there. So if I, once I've pasted this in, I can just go ahead and say save changes and activate and it's all green, it looks like it's all good. And if I go back to my checkout page and I just go refresh, and in this particular example, the more information block or section will appear. And here we have a company field that is required. We have a name of pet that isn't required and we have a telephone field. And this is how you can basically add register helper fields to your checkout page quite quickly and easily. Essentially what you need to do is copy a coding example and you can find coding examples on our site, paidmembershipspro.com. Look under the register helper documentation and specifically for coding examples, you add it to your site using the code snippets plugin that I just showed you. And then to get it working and looking how you need it to, you can just go and edit these, these custom fields as, as you want. So let me do one of them for you. So I'm gonna change this company field and I'm gonna call this middle. And I'm gonna change the label of the company custom field to middle name. And for argument's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, this code and I'm just gonna say copy. 
and I'm just going to add two spaces. I'm going to hit Control V to paste the field down. So now I've got two telephone fields. And if I want, I can just go ahead and change this to, let's say, location. And I'm going to change my label to location as well. Let's go ahead and save our changes. Great, looks like it's been saved. Let's go back to our checkout page and just refresh. And there we have it. So we have changed the field to middle name and location. Now, there are a lot of things that you can do with Register Helper, and you can basically build a checkout experience for your members that will suit your business and suit your needs. Check out our documentation and see how you can get Register Helper working the way you need it to. And if you are a little overwhelmed by this, you can always reach out to our technical support team if you are a PM Pro Plus or Unlimited member. And we will gladly set up to five additional fields for you at no extra charge. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.